There are four main purple ants in the Happy Tree Fan franchise, which includes the mother, the daughter, the older son, and the younger son, and they are all voiced by multiple people who have worked on the show. Sniffles is of course an anteater, and only after Sniffles attempts to harm or eat one, the ants will give him no mercy, and will make him suffer in a variety of different ways, which leads to him having a dragged out death. The ants don't just make him suffer as punishment, but they get great pleasure from doing this to him. This is most apparent in Tongue and Cheek. Sniffles makes a robot ant with a helmet on its head. Sniffles wears his own helmet, and the robot copies the movements that Sniffles makes. The older son ant swaps the ends of the wires into the opposite ports, and forces Sniffles to harm himself multiple times before killing him and the ants turn his body into a new home. The ants can be seen living in an ant hill multiple times, but it's unknown if they lived in Sniffles' home in Suck It Up. But it's more likely that they simply just entered his home to find some food and don't live there. Their designs. Originally, the heads of the ants looked a lot more like real life ants, and they had mandibles, antennas, two more arms and large eyes, but I guess the creators wanted them to have more expression. The standard design for the ants first appears in Crazy Antics. The mother has a large amount of dark hair on the top of her head. The older son was given a cap. The daughter had a bow in a shade of red and has brown hair sticking out of the sides, and the younger son has a single long hair on his head. In later episodes, the standard design of the older sun ant with the red cap pretty much does not change, but the others do. The mother's hair changed from dark red to a shade of purple, and it also seems to look tidier than before and sticks up higher, which well, who can't not think of Marge Simpson. The daughter's bow changed from a shade of red to two shades of purple, and its design is given a bit more detail and the same for her hair. And the younger son ant seems to look even younger in tongue and cheek, due to him looking smaller and having a shorter hair on his head. But Sniffles' character pop-up for the TV series shows him looking how he looked during season 1 and 2. Also, all of the ants' feet change from being just a copy of their hands to standard stick figure feet and then the feet was changed to just two toes. Additional Ants In the first episode, Crazy Antics, there is a picture of the missing father who died while he was in a war, and he has a beret or helmet or what seems to be a purple flag. Again in Crazy Antics, Sniffles notices a hill and thinks about ants, but notice that the look of the ant is more like a real ant maybe there is two types of ants in the HTF world, and he has eaten these before the events of this episode. In Blast from the Past, we can see two ancestors of the ants. One is male, and the other is female. And until Sniffles ate the female ant, anteaters and ants lived together harmoniously. And originally in A Hard Act to Swallow, after Sniffles eats the younger son, and the rest of the family comes to rescue him, there will be refugee ant in Sniffles' stomach, but they were of course cut from the episode. Additional facts. In Tongue and Cheek, they own an aphid that has others and gives milk, instead of giving ants honeydew like in real life. And it reminds me a lot of the Buggalow in Futurama. They enjoy cookies, bread and milk, they like butter due to the daughter ant using a butter churn, and at least the mother likes wine, but they possibly like pineapples and grapes too. They have shown to be religious and can be seen praying. The ants can be seen wearing other items, like goggles, a stripy hat that has two shades of pink, a blue and a zir coloured hat with fabric sticking out the sides, green helmets, and the small helmet that Sniffles made. Additionally, the mother can be seen wearing a handbag. 
The ants are well known for the enjoyment that they get from making Sniffles suffer, and this makes many sympathise with him, but the ants are very entertaining. And it's sad that after the TV series in 2006, we have never seen them again, and I think that it's a shame. Hopefully we can see Sniffles interacting with them in the future.